Okay, let's take the next one that is 46th. Let f, g, h, 3 functions defined from R to R, all differentiable, such that f x is x cube plus 3 x plus 2, g of f x is x and h of g of g x is x for all real values of x. Then four options are given about g dash, h dash, h and h of g. So, let us start this one. It is given f x as x cube plus 3 x plus 2, g of f x as x. Let us talk about the first option which is talking for g dash 2. g of f x is x meaning g dash f x into f dash x is 1, right. Now, we need the value for the derivative at 2 g dash f x is 1 upon f dash x. If I put here x is equal to 0, I will get f 0 as 2. So, g dash 2 is 1 upon f dash 0. The derivative of this function f x, we have f dash x as 3 x square plus 3. So, f dash 0 is 3. Therefore, g dash 2 comes 1 by 3. This is clear. So, clearly the first option is wrong. Let us move to the second one which is talking about h dash 1. Before moving to the derivative of h, let us talk about the values term like h 0 or h of g 3, right? h of g 3. The function h is given as h of g of g x is x, right. Earlier we have used the term g of f x as x, right. So, if I replace x with f x in this function, I will be getting h of g of g of f x is equal to f x. Fine. g of f x as I said earlier, this is given to me x in the question. So, we can write here h of g of x is equal to f x. We are looking for option 4 which is talking h of g of 3. So, simply put x is equal to 3. h of g of 3. This is f 3 f 3 can be obtained by substituting value 3 in the given function f x. Here we substitute we get 27 plus 9 plus 2 that is 38. So, we can see that option 4 is also not correct. Next, h of if I replace here x with f x, I will see g of f x is equal to f of f x. g of f x again same thing x using here we get h x is equal to f of f x. Now, I am looking for the value h 0, this is f of f 0, right? f 0 that is 2. So, we have this is equal to f of 2 f 2 that is 8 plus 6 plus 2 that is 16. So, we can see that option c is correct. h dash 1 differentiating the function we have h dash x is equal to f dash f x into f dash x. Substitute the value for x as 1 as required we get h dash 1 on simplifying 666 as given in the option number 2. So, we can say here option B and C both are correct. Right? So, now let us move to the next one. Okay, let us start the next one that is 47th. In triangle XYZ, 
if s minus x upon 4 equals s minus y upon 3 equals s minus z upon 2 and the area of encircle of triangle xyz is 8 pi by 3 then which of the four options are correct xyz that is the lengths of sides opposite to the vertices capital X capital Y capital Z and s is the semi perimeter first option is area of triangle xyz second is about circum radius third is for sin x by 2 sin y by 2 sin z by 2 and fourth is for sin square x plus y upon 2 let's start the same s minus x upon 4 equals s minus y upon 3 equals s minus z upon 2 say equals k Solving we have s minus x equals 4k, s minus y equals 3k, s minus z equals 2k. Adding the 3, we get 3s minus x plus y plus z equals 4 plus 3 plus 2k that is 9k. So from here, we simply get s equals 9k, right? Now, s minus x is 4k, s is 9k. So from here, we have x as 5k, y 6k, z 7k. It is given area of encircle of triangle xyz equals 8 pi by 3. So we can write pi r square if small r is the radius of the encircle. This is equal to 8 pi by 3 that is r square is 8 by 3. We also know r means delta by s. So delta square by s square is 8 by 3 or s, s minus x, s minus y, s minus z upon s square is 8 by 3. Just put the value for s, x, y, z in terms of k to get the value for k as 1. On getting the value for k, we can write x, y, z, s, s is equal to 9, right? Now, simply we substitute these values in the formulas like the area of the triangle x, y, z that is root s, s minus x, s minus y, s minus z. We obtain this one as the correct option. When we substitute for radius r that is x, y, z upon 4 delta, we find the option is incorrect. Similarly, for c and d, substitute the half angle results to obtain the solution. So, we get options a, c, d are correct. So, this is clear. Let us move to the next one. Okay, let's take question number 48. Consider a pyramid OPQRS in the first octant, OQ, OR along x and y axis respectively, OPQR a square with OP equals 3. The point S is directly above the midpoint T of diagonal OQ such that TS equals 3. Then four options are given. So let's start this one. base of the pyramid is a square O P Q R with O P along x axis that is 3 0 0 because O P is given to me 3 and O R along y axis so 0 3 0 right. It is also given that the point S is directly above the midpoint T of diagonal O Q. So, midpoint of this diagonal, this point we can mention 3, 3, 0, midpoint T directly above it somewhere here. So, we can draw the pyramid like this, right? This is the point S. So, the coordinate for T that is 3 by 2, 3 by 2, 0 and coordinate for S we can write 3 by 2, 3 by 2 and 3. Now let us start with the part A that is option A. The acute angle between OQ and OS. So we need the direction ratios 
of OQ. Here we can see this is 3 minus 0, 3 minus 0, 0 minus 0 giving me 1, 1, 0 as the direction ratios. Direction ratios of the second one that is OS meaning this one, this gives me 1, 1, 2. So, acute angle we can say let us say theta be the angle. So, cos theta comes 1 plus 1 plus 0 upon root 2 into root 6. So, this gives me 1 by root 3. So, clearly option 1 is incorrect which says about angle pi by 3. Next, equation of plane containing triangle OQS. Triangle O Q S. So, we can find the normal perpendicular to this plane or we can write the equation of plane directly as x y z because r minus a dot n equals 0. r minus a if I consider point a as 0 0 0. So, I have x y z and next to 1 1 0 1 1 2 equals 0. Simplifying we get x minus y equals 0 that is the equation of the plane as required. So, we can see here option b is the correct one. Next, the length of the perpendicular from p to the plane containing triangle OQS is 3 by root 2. So, just drop the perpendicular on it for part c, drop the perpendicular on it from the point p. P point meaning 3 0 0 when we drop the perpendicular we get length of perpendicular say small p as 3 by root 2 right. So, we can clearly see option c is also correct. Next d the perpendicular distance from origin to the line containing r s meaning this one. Let us draw it again here is a point o here is r and s. We are looking for this length, right. We have all points O, R, S. So, we have direction ratios of O, R and O, S. The direction ratios for O, R simply it is 0, 1, 0. For R, S, we have R, S, this one meaning this gives me 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 and 3. From there, we have the direction ratios. So, we can find the angle between the two. Let us consider the angle B alpha. So, we can write here for option D cos alpha equals 1 by root 6 using the direction ratios, right. Now, when we have this angle alpha, we can find this length say O m. So, O m that is O r sin alpha. O r this length meaning this one which is 3. So, we have 3 root 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 by 6. So, the fourth option which talks about root of 15 upon 2 we can see this one as root 9 root 45 upon 6 meaning same one. So, all 3 that is BCD are correct right. Let us move to the next one.